In the first semifinal, it's Oshkosh North versus Racine Horlick, whose only loss was to an Illinois team, and their defense stole the headlines from their offense. They pick up five steals and set a D1 tournament record with 10 blocks in the game. They also hold Oshkosh North to 24 points below their season average, and Horlick moves on 46 to 39. It really does change the complexion of the game when you've got guys who can alter so many shots. Because when you talk about block shots, that's one thing. But how many shots are actually altered throughout the game? We've been blocking shots the whole season. Like uh, we tell the man that's front of the post to just put your hands up and we'll come pretty much come behind you and try to block it. If not, then uh, they, they make the shot, they make the shot. If, or it's a goal tent either way. So. <laughs> so will it be undefeated Bayport or top-ranked Madison Memorial? Memorial begins to pull away in the second, courtesy of University of Wisconsin recruit Vander Blue. Up four with time winding down, Russell Henderson's recruiting some buzzer-beating magic. Seven-point lead at half. Jake Hottenstein has 16 second-half points, and Marcus Rue gets a three-pointer and then the drive and one to force this game into OT. The Pirates are seeing blue, though, as Vander Blue keeps the Spartans in the game and gives it to Maimon to ice it with free throws, and the Spartans are the ones going back to the title game. That's one heck of a basketball team. I mean, they just got athletes, they got competitors, they just play hard, and uh, they never give up. And I, and I knew in one of those timeouts when we were up seven that they were going to battle back. You know, they're a senior team, and they were going to battle, and they weren't going anywhere. And I thought, you know, I thought, I thought my guys really battled through, too. You know? We showed that we, we can play with anybody. This, uh, you know, no disrespect to Racine Horlick or anybody else in the tournament, but it's probably the best team in the tournament, and that's what everybody thinks. And uh, we gave them everything they could handle. The matchup with Horlick will pit two of the state's best in Jerron Maimon and Jameel Wilson. Me and Jerron are good friends. Uh, we've been playing each other since probably the fourth grade. He used to play on the Massive Spartans, and I used to play with Playground or the Rebels. And, we, we bang in summer, and I, but at the end of the day, uh, we're, we're good friends, I mean. Hometown crowd along for the ride as Memorial tries to avenge last year's overtime title game loss. But this one, nowhere near as dramatic. Horlick can't buy a bucket in the first as Memorial ends the quarter up 15-5, to five, and it only gets worse for the Rebels. They get down by as much as 18 in the second. And then six foot seven Jameel Wilson and his 21 points per game take a seat with his fourth foul and 113 left in the first half. Antoine Oliver tries to be a catalyst with a team high 13 points, but the closest they get the rest of the way is 15. And Memorial takes their second state title, 56 to 41. I grew up with all these guys, and it's tough me being the youngest one, me only being a junior. I can't graduate with these guys. And nine times out of ten, I probably won't be winning, um, playing in the same game as them unless I'm playing against them. And I was just thinking of all the memories. My career just flashed, thinking about all the memories I had with them outside of basketball, just us coming together saying we want to get this gold ball. I know, I know they're feeling the same way, and it's just it's a great feeling to win a state championship, but to win it with the people that you love. And I feel that's why I got so emotional. I'm just so happy and at the same time I'm relieved and also I'm, I'm kind of sad because like I'm never going to get to play with these guys again in a Madison Memorial uniform. I didn't grow up with most of these guys uh, from AAU basketball and it's, it's sad that I have to leave and I'll never be able to play with these guys again. But I'm just thanking God right now because he gave us a second opportunity to come in here in a state championship game and um, play in front of a big crowd and uh, he brought us out on top.